your feet have 26 bones, 33 articulations, 111 ligaments, over 20 muscles. Your arch has four layers of muscles. And so I think that we really are, are beautifully constructed um, and really ideally designed to be walkers. The body was built to walk and you just need to look back in history to understand why. People had to go out and actually get their own food. And that involved walking. And in other words, you could not call up to get a pizza delivered to your house 10,000 years ago. The only way you could do it was to go out and find the food. So physical activity was a requirement for survival. We're not living the lives our bodies were designed for. So we weren't meant to eat out of boxes, and we weren't meant to eat processed food. We weren't meant to drive everywhere. And if we don't exercise and we don't move and we don't walk the way our bodies were designed to, then we're going to start to have problems. Obesity, diabetes, liver disease, almost every part of the body disintegrates somewhat if you're not physically active. Part of it is that we've engineered effort out of our society. I sort of laugh about how people will wait online in their cars at the drive through fast food but won't get out of their car when it would actually be faster. If you go back to the time when people left the cities, the idea was that you were going to have a car, if not two. If you had this car, you should be seen using it. Walking, as we traditionally look at it, is uniquely human in the fact that we can stand, balance, and walk with a remarkable efficiency for long periods of time. And it's actually defined our evolution. Uh, you know, arguably, the way your big toe has lined up with the rest of your foot so that we could walk for long distances has had more to do with our evolution than the, the, the growth of our brain. The problem is that we were designed to do this and we we're designed to move. We're not designed to stand still. When we stand still, things become stagnated. We do, we get pooling of, of blood, we get pooling of fluid. So we need to be able to move. We are meant to move. When you take your first step, you're actually in a controlled fall. We, you're actually going out of your, your center of balance and the way that we move through life, and it's a wonderful metaphor that everyone talks about remaining in balance, but it's actually when you allow yourself to just sort of gently get out of balance, that's what allows you to move forward in life and literally to take the first step.